So hi everyone, today we'll be discussing about how we can train OpenAI gym environment using the reinforce algorithm in reinforcement learning. Uh, so basically it is a type of policy gradient method. So first of all, we'll be discussing what is the policy gradient methods in reinforcement learning followed by reinforce algorithm and then finally the codes for training OpenAI gym environments. So let's get started. So uh, basically before moving on to this, I have already covered basics of reinforcement learning, MAB, Contextual Bandits, Temporal Difference Learning, Monte Carlo, Game Dev using Reinforcement Learning and Pygame. So if you wish to check them out, do check them out. So in all the methods that I'm mentioning here, maybe Contextual, maybe uh, Temporal Difference Learning, the major aim of the algorithm is to estimate the value function given the action or action state pair. By a value function, we mean that it is an estimated reward that we can get for that particular action for given that state. Now after estimating the value function, we use a combination of the value function alongside the policy that we have chosen. Now it can be epsilon greedy, it can be greedy, whatever you choose, we choose the next action. Now in case of policy gradient methods, what we are trying to achieve is, can we directly devise methods that can choose policy for us? Uh, a few direct advantages that we can have is no value function would be required, no need to decide over any policy. So by choosing a policy, I mean that I wish to calculate the probabilities of the action directly rather than estimating over the value functions, right? So we will be first of all discussing a policy network. So policy network is a neural network that intakes the state and gives you probabilities for the actions possible. So uh, eventually they call it that it gives an idle policy as an output, but it means that we are trying to get the output of action uh, probabilities for actions, which should add up to one. That is, it's, it's a multi-class problem that we're trying to solve. Uh, reinforce algorithm that we're going to talk about is one of the policy gradient methods only. So let's understand how does the reinforce algorithm work. So first of all, we will be designing a shallow neural network that intakes a state and output action probabilities. Uh, the preparing the whole training life cycle would be, we would be running the environment simulation for n number of episodes, where for each episode, what we are trying to achieve is, first of all, we will be initializing an empty list. Then we will be choosing over our initial state. This initial state can be chosen using uh, the environment.reset option that we get in OpenAI. So I'll be talking about that later on. Uh, now we will be feeding this initial state into the neural network. Uh, that would be given as an output for actions that can be taken. Uh, depending upon the probabilities that we are getting, we would be uh, taking an action and getting the reward and then saving these state reward and actions in separate lists. Or you can save it as tuple also as you wish. Now repeat the above step until the terminal state in the episode comes in. So you are making sense, right? You take up a, uh, you take up a state, initial state, you take an action, you get a reward, you move to the next state. Again, from the next state, you take, uh, you feed it to the neural network, you get action probability, you choose an action, you get to the next state. Again, you feed that next state to the neural network, you again get a set of probabilities. This you will be doing until the episode ends, right? Now, once the episode ends, that means you have uh, got a terminal state, either you have failed or succeed, uh, succeeded, uh, you would be, this would be forming us uh, one episode for us. Now, once we have um, got our one episode, we will be calculating discounted rewards for all the actions possible. Now, what are discounted rewards? So basically the idea of discounted reward is that, uh, assume that we have uh, five steps before reaching to the final. You took left, right, left, left, right, and then eventually you succeeded in your goal. Now it is believed that the last action that we took, the right, the last right that we have taken at that particular state is the most important action. And uh, the earlier the action taken in the episode, the lesser important it becomes, right? So what we're trying to do is that for all the rewards that we've got for an action, uh, we, as you know, uh, we consider the future rewards as well in case of stateful reinforcement learning. Uh, so in that case, what we would be doing is that for every uh, action that we have taken at a particular state, Alongside the reward, we will be calculating a discounted reward as well and that we would be adding to that actual reward. So for an action, we get reward plus the discounted reward that is a uh, discount over the future reward that we might get. A discount is basically nothing but a fraction. So like we won't be considering it completely, but a fraction of it like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.5 into the future reward. So this is done uh, so that the model can have an idea whether taking this action will help me in the future or not. And uh, now we will be defining the loss function. The loss function is nothing but a summation of product of probabilities of each action into the discounted reward for that particular action. Uh, so we will be uh, calculating the product for each uh, probabilities for the action that we have chosen and a discounted reward and then adding them all together. Why? I will explain that soon. Applying gradients to the train in the uh, to 
train the policy network so that's easy so now we'll be moving on to the codes so we would be uh, going uh, to train a lunar lander hyphen version 2 in open ai gym environment so here you can see that the lunar lander version 2 environment how it looks like so basically uh, the idea is that the aircraft that is present it needs to land between these two flags right this is a landing pad uh, and eventually there are three actions possible either to fire up the engine the red dots that you can see uh, or rotate the engine or do nothing so these are three actions and the state is represented by eight variable uh, a 1d array of eight variables that means at that high that includes multiple information like x y coordinates the velocity angular velocity etc etc now talking about the reward function as you can see the closer the aircraft comes to the landing pad the reward function uh, the rewards are positive and when it takes an action goes farther away from it the reward is negative so this is the whole idea and it's to land in between those two flags there are three actions now let's move on to the codes so first of all we will be importing required libraries uh, uh, you, as you can see there you need to import gym and pi games that might look a bit uh, new to you now next would be i would be initiating the open ai gym environment uh, for lunar lander version 2 and then saving input shape and num, uh, num underscore actions or total number of actions that are present and the shape of the state so that is as i told you is a has is a 1d array with eight elements now we'll defining the policy network it's quite easy again a shallow very shallow neural network uh, with three dense layers where the last dense layer has an activation soft max this is done because as i told you earlier that the probability should add up to one in policy gradient it is a multi-class sort of a problem right now the training loop comes in uh, so this is a bit tricky and you need to pay some attention on this so i'll be looping over thousand episodes we will be training our uh, agent in lunar lander version 2 for thousand episodes so here you can see that for each episode when we are starting uh, i am first of all uh, getting uh, resetting the environment to the initial state setting the episode reward and length equals to zero and then keeping three very uh, three empty list state action rewards so as i told you earlier that we would be calculating at each step state action and reward and and log and saving them for training purposes now uh, when the while the episode is not ended yet here you can see that we are feeding in the initial state and getting action probabilities you can follow my cursor then choosing uh, np dot random we are choosing a random action depending upon the action probabilities do remember that so an action with higher probability uh, higher probability should be should have more chances as compared to an action with lower probability and should not be uniform so don't miss this p equals to action underscore props then uh, the next step is that uh, the chosen action we are applying it into the environment and then getting the next state the reward done is basically a flag that tells whether the uh, episode has ended or not and then saving state action rewards in their respective list and then updating the state equals to next state so that uh, we can in the loop next time we are feeding this next state to the policy network episode reward is added for this particular action episode length is also appended next is we are calculating the discounted rewards once the episode is done so again you can see that we have running totals coming in into discount factor plus reward as a reverse reward also so for the last action we won't be discounting anything for the second last action uh, the uh, the running total becomes the reward for the first uh, the last action that we got for this time talking about the second last action into the discount factor plus rewards so the current uh, so assume that we have five steps so for the fourth action the running total would be the reward for the fifth action into discount factor that is 0 0.99 i guess plus the reward for the fourth action for the third action uh, the running total uh, would uh, the running total would equal to the reward the discounted reward that we got for the fourth action uh, into the discount factor uh, plus the reward for the third action so likewise you can see it's like for any action x uh, the discounted reward would be reward for x plus discounted reward for x plus one uh, consider in that way and with this is we are calculating in reverse order i guess uh, then we will be normalizing the discounted rewards uh, then I will be converting the state action and discount reward lists into tensor. So now uh, we will be using using gradient tape. I will be first again calculating the action probabilities, and then we are calculating loss at three levels. First of all, we are uh, using tf dot gather. We are trying to get the action probability for the action that was chosen while the episode was happening, and then applying log over it. Then uh, we are multiplying this log probability into discounted rewards. And then reducing this whole thing so basically uh, this log probability that we are getting would be for each action 
discounted rewards are still a tensor they are not single values it is a tensor that is a discounted reward for all the actions then we are multiplying it and then eventually we are doing a reduce mean that is meaning over all the values present in the loss so a couple of questions that might come in is ki why we are using this math.log and why we are using this negative sign so i will be coming down to that then we will be calculating the gradient using the loss and training the model and here you can see we are appending the episode rewards and episode length and then saving the model using keras.save so the loss function that you're using minus 1 into summation of log probabilities into discounted reward so let's understand this loss function first of all so uh, if you give a slight thought uh, we really don't know what would be the ideal action given a state right so if the episode is 20 episode or uh, 20 steps long at fifth step what action we should have taken that we should have reached earlier or like which would have maximize the rewards we don't know it actually right? there's no method to calculate it so getting uh, actual actions as ground truth is difficult so uh, the if you notice the neural network the neural network outputs action probability so in any normal case what we would have done is that uh, for multi class problem we get the actual labels and then the predicted labels but we don't have actual labels now that is the actual action that can be taken but we can generate an uh, actual action in terms of rewards so given the rewards we can have an idea ki okay if the reward is high the action taken at any step was good and if the reward was very low in the end action taken at any step could have been bad right this is the whole idea essentially if you notice probabilities are coming directly from the policy network only right so it is dependent upon the policy weights and hence back propagation can happen and as i told you why we are using discounted rewards because a reward can give you an idea whether if the reward in the end of the episode is very low this means that any action taken uh, uh, shouldn't be rewarded very highly is not was not ideal it can be the case and secondly if the reward is very high in the end that means that the action taken is pretty good right uh, there are two more things one is we are using a negative one and the second is we are using a log value so uh, eventually the goal of any loss function is to reduce that loss function but in case of this uh, the idea of the architecture should be to increase the whole reward right that means to increase a probability into discounted reward probability is basically action probability and discounted reward is the discounted reward for particular action right so it's not single value it's multiple values so if there are five actions that are taken so we will be having five probabilities and five discounted rewards and we will be doing a mean over that do remember this so we have applied a negative value over so that uh, now earlier if the idea is to increase probability into discounted reward if you apply a negative the idea becomes to reduce that particular entity so if you know in general loss functions are to be reduced and not to be increased right if you have noticed anywhere beat msc or beat root square error we are trying to reduce the loss function so if we are having a goal of the architecture to increase probability into discounted rewards by applying a negation we can make it to reduce that value so we are going in line with that and we are applying a log value because the probabilities of action would range from 0 to 1 which are very small values and lead to training instabilities finally we are applying gradients and then uh, applying them back onto our network for back propagation so that's it then we are done next step is to render the whole environment that we have trained using py game so what we would be doing is that uh, we will be first initiating a py game environment and then creating a py game display window using display surf and creating a clock value so that we can uh, set the animation rate in the whole window i will tell you that uh, then we will be again creating a new fresh environment for the lunar lander v2 and then we will be loading our model as well policy network tf.keras now in this particular loop uh, we, as we have reset our environment earlier here you can see that we are in taking the initial state calculating the action probabilities and using this action probabilities we are calculating the action as we did earlier and then getting the rewards action in the next state now using the n dot render function we are rendering the image also for that particular state so n dot step returns as the uh, particular state as a 1d array now when we are doing it a render it is returning as the image of that particular environment right now using this image that we have got we are first of all converting this numpy array it, it is a numpy array basically a uh, three dimensional numpy array we are converting it into an image object and then uh, eventually we are converting it into a py game dot surface object using this particular step mode uh, mod comma size comma data image dot mode image dot size image dot two bytes and then using py game dot image dot from string we are converting this particular image into a py game surface image and then using display dot blit so display surface basically the this uh, window game window that we have declared earlier 
and blit helps us in uh, build, uh, drawing out any drawings over the window. So image is the object that we're trying to draw with coordinate 0, 0. And then we are printing a step count as well, which step we are at and then updating the Pygame window. Now using this, this is the one that I trained. So here you can see that eventually the model is able to land into that region. Here you can see that. Uh, yes so the model is able to land into uh, the region so this particular agent i trained for thousand steps it nearly took me three to four hours uh, but i was using a very age old pc and then uh, using just cpu so if you have a gpu i think this training should be very fast for you and you can try out atari games as well so i tried out one of the atari games but it was taking a long time so i left it at that point only so if you wish to try out atari games training like a uh, freeway or like space invader so there will be minor tweaks that you need to do into the policy network also because the state uh, here so this particular code can help you in uh, training out any open agent that has a 1d state that means uh, like for cart pole hill climb or lunar lander we have a 1d array that represents the state in case of uh, atari game most of the atari games i've seen the the state is represented by a 3d array hence in that case you might need to apply a convolution layer or like some sort of uh, uh, flattening layer over the uh, actual architecture that we are using here. So the rest of the thing should remain the same and your model should train. It might take longer time as compared to Lunar Lander. Yeah, thanks.